Hi everybody, my name is Adam. Uh, welcome to the Co-Element channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, something that uh, a lot of people have been asking us about actually. Uh, it's, it's our camera setups and our different camera setups for different types of shoots and things like that and what we use and what kind of uh, hardware we use and things like that. So um, yeah, I thought it would be fun uh, to maybe do a series of videos on some of the different builds that we use for, for client work. Um, today, we're, we're actually going to talk about this guy right here. This is the uh, Canon C200 cinema camera. It's um, actually quite small. Uh, you can hold it in the palm of your hand when it's uh, stripped down. And there's nothing really built onto it. No lens, uh, no, no parts or anything like that. Um, and this is a, an extremely powerful camera. Uh, and um, we shoot a lot of projects on this little guy. This, this isn't going to be a review on, on the specs, different resolutions and things like that. Uh, it, it's not about that. It's really more about how we build this out for different shooting situations and how it complements the different creative uh, that, we're, that we're developing with our client work. So there are so many different ways that you can build these cameras out now. And there are so many different components and pieces and it can really be confusing. I'm going to show you how we've uh, simplified this by designing three different cinema camera builds for different types of projects and shooting situations that we find ourselves in. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. So let's get started. All right, so this is gonna be the first of three videos that we're gonna make, each focused on a different cinema camera build. Uh, we're going to start with the most simple uh, cinema camera build uh, with using the C200. And then uh, in each preceding video, work our way up to the most complex. And I'll explain the different types of shooting situations and projects, sample projects I'll show, uh, that these camera builds are great for. So to start off, let's, let's talk about the first build. So this first build is what we consider to be our most uh, simple and stripped down cinema rig. Uh, we like to call this uh, more of a, of a run and gun rig uh, that allows you to be really nimble and quick and it's really light and, and easy to maneuver. So um, I've got kind of the, the basic parts here. Um, I'm just gonna run a time lapse and I'm gonna build this thing up really, really quick and then I'll, uh, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, this first build is what we consider to be our most simple and stripped down uh, cinema camera rig. We like to call this more of a run and gun rig, um, where you're running and gunning. Um, and uh, that allows you to be really nimble and, and quick, and it's uh, really light, uh, fairly light and easy to maneuver. I mean, it's not, you know, that light, but it's got some weight to it. Uh, weight is good uh, to get more of a sort of a cinematic feel to your shots. Uh, the weight is really, really nice, but uh, this is sort of our one of our go-to builds uh, for, you know, shoots, um, you know, where you, like I said, you want to be really, really nimble and quick and, uh, you know, it's not too bulky, so you can kind of move around quickly. And um, so as you can see, there's, there's not a lot to it. Uh, we've got uh, the Canon uh, C200 uh, with a, uh, uh, a lens. Uh, it's a 16 to 35 f/4. Like I said, uh, we've got the um, uh, for the viewfinder. Uh, we just have the the standard um, Canon C200 viewfinder that it just comes with, and it's a very nice high bright uh, viewfinder. It's uh, it's not too big. Um, it's actually just big enough uh, to keep the camera feeling pretty light. It's very light compared to any other uh, monitors that you want to put on. I mean, you could put monitor on which will be the next build I'll show you that um, but it does add a little bit of weight, a little bit too much weight to it in, in my in my opinion typically uh, you know if I'm shooting this it's it's a sort of an underslung mode like this where the viewfinder is sort of up at me and I've got the follow focus um, and it's it's really really quite nice to move around and uh, if I just stand up here 
this is typically you know to to get motion is really really nice and easy to maneuver uh, for components like i said we've got the lens we got a shotgun mic uh, which is uh, which is crucial um, you've got the hand grip that comes with the camera gives you something to hold on to you can support it with your left hand like that or if you want to pull focus you can go into underslung mode like that and just pull focus like that and this is an excellent build um, if it's too uh, heavy if it gets a little bit too heavy we do have something uh, called a ready rig and I'll show you that later in an, uh, another build that uh, that you can clip to this to sort of take that a lot of that weight off off of your off of your arms uh, but I do find that it's in only good in certain situations um, uh, it does kind of, uh, I, in my opinion, uh, limit you a little bit. So uh, we've also got uh, sort of the, these rails that we attach to the bottom, which allows this follow focus to be attached. And then uh, what we have is a, a Manfrotto uh, style uh, plate, uh, which can quickly go on to a tripod if you need to, which is really, really nice. Uh, you can quickly go handheld. You could pop it on a tripod and get some tripod shots and change the lens out if you needed to for a, to a long lens, maybe a 70 to 200, which is something that we use a lot. So what, so like I said, what types of shooting situations is this build good for? Um, this particular uh, build is great in sh uh, shooting scenarios where you need to be quick and nimble, like I keep saying, uh, documentary style filmmaking. Sometimes you need to be capturing action as it happens and you have very little control over the shooting situation. So if you're messing around with too much gear or, or the rig is too heavy and you, you can't move fast enough, you know, you can, you can miss a great shot. You can, you can miss the shots. You can miss the moment. Um, another scenario could be when you're shooting something that is more sort of controlled, but it feels more like a still photo shoot where you need to be moving quickly and capture a lot of types of shots um, to build your sequences for the final edit. Um, so for example, this project that we did for, for Body Logic, They're a performance uh, health supplement brand. Uh, they make uh, products like um, uh, whey protein and, and a lot of other really great products. Um, this particular project was shot in collaboration uh, with uh, one of our go-to DOPs in Winnipeg, Manitoba. His name's Tyler Funk, and uh, he used this camera, a very similar build. And uh, we had to work with these athletes uh, working out, so we needed to move very quickly with them throughout the day uh, with different lighting scenarios. We had control over them, but we really wanted to be light and nimble and just capture as much as we possibly could within the day. And we want to capture a variety of shots and angles and focal lengths to help build our sequences and keep the editing feeling uh, really fast paced and energetic. Ignite your mental focus, work out harder and longer. We also chose to go uh, with more of a handheld feel, uh, which this build is great for, uh, which was a creative choice for this project. So shooting handheld can have uh, a very raw look to it. And as the director on this project myself, uh, I chose this shooting method because I wanted to place the audience right in the scene. Like they were standing right next to the athlete as they were working out. And this can be a really powerful way to help with the emotion and energy of the shots. Um, the Body Logics brand is about like peak performance, and uh, and actually their tagline is clean, trust, performance. So all of these creative decisions that we make prior to shooting play into how we build out our camera rig, and it complements the shooting style and ultimately the final image we're creating that will visually represent the brand's story and evoke a powerful emotion within the audience. And ultimately, this is what we're, what I'm doing as a director on these projects. We're telling the story of the brand and making a powerful connection with the audience, which in this case is the brand's customers. And this, cam this particular camera build really allows us to make that happen. So that's our first camera build. It's our run and gun style build. It's, uh, it's worked really, really great for us. Um, and uh, yeah, I was just happy I could share that with you and I'm happy to, um, share sort of the next build, which is the next the next level up, um, and just to see what you guys think. So if you'd like this video, uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. We'll have two more videos coming out soon with different builds. Like I said, we're working on them now, 
and uh, talking about more of the larger and more complex cinema camera builds that complement different shooting situations we find ourselves in with our client projects. All right, I'm Adam. Thanks for watching.